All right. So welcome, welcome, Jackie, um, to our podcast. So this is Inches and Insights with Bell Medical. Um, and this is our first time doing a virtual podcast. So hopefully it goes fine. But <laughs> Um, so Jacqueline, tell us about yourself. So I am the treatment coordinator here in Tulsa. I've been with Bell for almost two years. I started off as a medical assistant and I love it. I love watching patients walk in and they're like shy, don't really want to talk. And then their 30 days, it's like a whole new person. It's just amazing what we're able to do for them. And the shift changing from the first time you meet them to the 30 day post-op. Yeah. So, so Jackie, we really, I've been to your clinic in Tulsa. It's a beautiful clinic, um, great location. And you mentioned that you came to us as a medical assistant, which we also love because you've had a lot of experience in procedure before yeah. you ever became a treatment coordinator. And then your job primarily now is to sit with patients and tell us a little bit about what to expect from a treatment coordinator at Bell Medical. So you're asking me what to expect at a consult? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about a consultation. Like, what does that look like? So with the consultations, they're so informative. And a lot of the times patients call the office like, hey, tell me a little bit. And I'm like, please come in because it is so important even for them to walk through the door and hear the assistants like, hi, welcome in. How are you? That you can definitely feel the energy that's here in Tulsa, the positivity, how much the assistants really care for the patients, even with the doctor. So you come in for your consultation, we bring you back. I like to talk to everybody about the procedure itself, what to expect, the pre-op, all of that fun stuff. And then at the end of it, we'll look at your, um, we'll take a look at all of your areas and then we'll give you a nice quote go over all of the financing options with you just to, in case that's something that you're interested in, you know, a lot of the times people can pay out of the pocket, but why would you, if you can just make payments that are interest-free, which is the best thing. Um, So yeah, no pressure. A lot of patients really just come in to check it out. And if you come in on a day that that the doctor's here, he's really good about coming in to meet you, talk to you about what to expect, what are realistic ex- expectations for you and for your body? So all of that good stuff. And we've heard great things about the doctor that works there. Can you tell us a little bit about him? He is amazing. I know a lot of the times, like even for me going to the doctor, doctors are intimidating, and like very in and yeah. out of the room. Dr. Blatchford's the complete opposite. He comes in here and a lot of the times I'm like, you have somewhere else to be like, come on, let's wrap it up. He's a fishing guy. He's a hunting guy. And he's done this for so long. He is so smart. Like if you just have a normal conversation with him, he's so scientific and he comes into the consults and he talks to them about like, scientifically, this is what we do. And then the patients are just like, um, in English, (laughs) (laughs) but yeah, no, he is awesome. And he really, like, I can really, really say that he cares for the patient so much and he's so honest. So you know exactly what to expect after your procedure when you meet him. Okay. That's awesome. So. Um, you speak a lot to the environment. Of, would you say that we're unique in the way that we, you know, make people feel in general? You've spoken a little bit to that, but yes. what, in, in talking to someone, why would you say Bell Medical is the only place to come in and and get a procedure? I think because just personally, I feel like, A company not only reflects on how they treat patients, but how they treat their staff. Mm -hmm. Bell Medical's core values are so genuine. And like everybody at Bell Medical, from like the assistants to the massage therapists to everybody, the regional managers really, really live up to the core values. So um, uh, and something that makes this so different, I feel like, is I know that I've said it a million times, but everybody genuinely cares. And also the post-op care that you receive here. It is top notch. Like I also loved when I walked in through Bell that I came from pediatrics. So I was so new to this and I really, really felt like I had everything I needed to be trained. Like I was ready to roll. 
And um, with the post-op care, it's like that. Like the patients have everything that they need from physically to mentally to emotionally to succeed with us. Like with offering massages, with the assistance, just like even taking time out of work hours to be like, hey, this is completely normal. We advise you do this. Mm -hmm. Post-op care and just the core values that everybody lives up to. Yeah, I love that because I feel like just the environment, right? Like, and that's what you're talking about. Um, and that's why we do like to get people in the door because like, yes, we can do a virtual co- consultation if you need to, like, we're not going to make you come in if you have to drive two hours or, yeah. if you, you know, um, but we do just like to meet you in person. So you can like meet the team. You can see, um, where we're going to be doing the procedure. You can, um, find the clinic, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and then, yeah, just feel the good vibes. And <laughs> so I feel like that's really nice. And just the the care that we as the team have for our patients and for each other. Yes, for sure. Jackie, I loved how you talked about the core values of Bell Medical, because I think as a company that we strive so hard to live them because we know how vulnerable it is to come into a clinic and talk about your body. And we, we have to lift them. We have to create a space that is inviting and comfortable and no pressure and healing, quite honestly. Right. And absolutely. And you, and you spoke to the fact that Tulsa is that environment. Yes, absolutely. And that's like my number one priority at the consultation is if somebody comes in and they just start telling me like, like their deepest, darkest secret, you know, like. I put on this weight because five years ago, this happened. That makes me feel so good. Like I did my job because this person felt comfortable to open up to me, to share with me. And it's just everything that we build that trust together to, for them to trust me and be vulnerable and all of that stuff. It's everything. And you see results, right? Absolutely. I always tell everybody this, like, I speak so highly and I'm so confident in the consultation. And I always tell Dr. Blatchford, like, thank you so, so much for over delivering everything that I just promised them. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so easy to work with a doctor that I know is just going to deliver every time, (laughs) overachieve. It's amazing. And like, we guarantee two to five inches, but no, it's so much more than that. (laughs) It's amazing. Yeah, a lot of our patients see like, and I feel like it's more like five to seven, sometimes more. Yes. Um, I always say like our average for the midsection, of course, if they have that much, that many inches to lose is seven to nine. Yeah. Yeah. And it it does, it depends on the person and it depends on how much fat they have to lose. But um, we do, we see some really awesome results. And we do have that guarantee though, just to make sure like you are, you're getting the results um, that you expect and also you have like a fail safe, I guess. (laughs) For sure. I always tell patients like we guarantee two to five inch loss, but you're lucky enough that Dr. B has not redone anything because everybody just walks out so happy. And like, it's amazing that we deliver these results. They're not under, there's no big cutting. There's no scars. Like it's, just amazing. Like leaves me speechless every time. Yeah. Do you feel like people get nervous about not um, being under, like not having the general anesthetic? There is a lot of patients that are like, Ooh, like, am I going to feel this? And the day of their procedure, they're so anxious. But with that mm-hmm. cocktail that we give of the hydromorphone, the promethazine and the um, Xanax, mm-hmm. it's perfect. They're pretty loopy enough to where it's just, yeah, like, it just like oh. calms you down. So yeah. you're like definitely there and awake, but oh, it's absolutely. just you can answer any questions that we have for you. You're just pretty loopy and sleepy. So yeah, it helps a lot. It helps with recovery. I mean, that's the reason we do it, right? Yeah. It's up and and, and it's not as risky in in all the ways that, you know, being being put under is. Absolutely. Yes. No, it's just amazing how the next day they're up here and they're walking and they're doing their mile and they're drinking 80 ounces of water. It's just like, We know with the traditional plastic surgery, it would not be that way. So this is amazing. (laughs) So Wendy, do you want to talk about like our common, I guess, like what we ask for post-op? So like the mile and the water and everything. Just like the protocol for post-ops? Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, first of all, we just ask that you come in and follow follow our protocol. Yeah. Um, and we set you up for a post-op at one to three days, five to seven days, and then at 30 days. And in that process, we're encouraging our patients along with wearing a c- compression garment, which is crucial um, to success. Uh, it really basically, we're going in and removing that stubborn fat. And we need that skin to adhere back to muscle. So it trains it. It trains your body to do that in the correct way and manner. And, um, you know, it's, it's basically, I say, it's like shapewear, you know, and, uh, you know, not everyone loves it, but I, but we love what it does. Mm-hmm. So if, if that's one of the issues and then, and then what drinking a lot of water, um, obviously we know the importance of water and then walking. Um, I like to say, if you add one thing to our procedure, one thing in regards to a better, better eating, or just walking a little bit more biking, or just one activity, your body is going to give you back so much in that time frame. So it's partnering with us on the things we're asking you to do. And, and it just happens. And, and it's so fun to see your passion, Jackie, because it's you're on the ground in Tulsa seeing the success. Yes. And, and with all the gimmicks out there, it is easy to fall prey to putting money into something that doesn't work. Oh, absolutely. That is why Bell Medical has a signature guarantee because we do not want that. We want to make sure that you will succeed with us, that the money that you put toward yourself will make a difference and it's a permanent change. Absolutely. And there's so many things like here in Tulsa, I'm sure everywhere, but like specifically here in Tulsa of like so many other procedures and patients often come in so discouraged because they're like, I tried this and it didn't work. So now I'm like, mm, should I really do this? And I'm like, no, you should. <laughs> you yeah. should have started here. <laughs> I know. And they speak for it after. Like, it's honestly almost like kind of cool if they did something that didn't work and then it worked through us and they just they're like, just wait. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> they tell all of their friends, all of their family. It's just amazing. I love that. I love that. Um, Okay, so you said you love your job, and that well, that's one area that I I feel really passionate about is that people that work for us love their job. Tell us why you love your job. Why is Bell Medical? Bell? Oh my gosh! Because honestly, kind of goes back to what I said before, but like a company really speaks not only the way that they t- they treat patients or customers or whatever, but the way that they treat employees. And ever since I started with Bell, I have always felt so appreciated. So like, you're doing an amazing job. Like, just the reassurance from everybody all around is amazing. And then not only that, but like I said, I work for a place that changes people's lives forever, changes people's confidence, and that's everything. So... That's awesome. I love that. I feel like it's just, and Wendy and I have talked about this before. It's like a privilege that we get to, you know, to be on this team where we do get to change people's lives and we do get to bring that confidence. And and it it is hard sometimes being like, oh, where do you work? Oh, I work at a liposuction company, but it's not, you know, like this is a company about people and about confidence. And about genuinely like caring for everybody that walks through the door. Yes. Yeah. And I love that. And I think you talk to anybody on the team and that's kind of what you get is yes. that, that feeling of just, we're dedicated to helping our patients and, yeah. and we use tools to do that. So, yeah. yeah, I think it's funny to your point when people say, where do you work? And I've, I've sat with a lot of networks and different things, or other people are going to interview about what they do. And honestly, what I want to say is I work for a company that changes lives internally, externally, we yeah. change lives to our employees, to our, for the people that treat, because it's true. I mean, you can see it all over your face, Jackie and, you know, Ariana, we, we see this, this isn't just mm-hmm. a gimmick or to yeah. just like, we want to take your money and oh, right. Oh, like, yeah, right. Well, yes, no, this is real life. It really works. <laughs> well, absolutely. Absolutely works. Um, so Jackie, will you tell us a little bit about maybe just quickly a consultation as far as what would you tell, how would you quickly educate somebody that might have an interest in getting the consultation? The quickly for patients who really call and they're like, no, no consult. Just tell me, just tell me. I'm like, okay, okay, whatever. (laughs) So I just tell them that essentially what we do is we suction out those fat cells with the exception that they don't go under with that huge benefit 
they are up in 48 hours. Of course, that's the average time. But if you have like a desk job, you can be back the next day. <laughs> so downtime of 48 hours, a little bit of soreness for the next couple of days, just like an intense workout. Um, talk about the perfect little cocktail and then just go over the process where we take them back into the procedure room. We make those small incisions, um, infiltrate, which has tumescent that numbs the area, lidocaine that numbs the area, and then tumescent that liquefies and enlarges the fat cells. We suction all of that out. And of course, I love to educate on the fat transfers, <laughs> how we're able to do that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I really just emphasize that the fat cells are suctioned out. They never come back and you don't go under. So that's, that's a perfect <laughs> way of summarizing. Tell us, touch on the transfer of fat. That is the coolest part ever, right? Oh my gosh. It is amazing. And I always tell patients, don't waste the fat cells. Just transfer them. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so cool. yeah. 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 Yes. So with the fat transfers, we can transfer to the breast, uh, butt or hip area. Usually Dr. B treats the, um, if he treats the butt and you want hips, he'll go ahead and add on those hips for you. But, um, yeah. <laughs> well, and it speaks to how gently we remove the fat, that those fat cells are actually living and viable and able to go into another part of the body. That's yes. kind of, a, I love to reiterate, we take them so gently that, uh, so that then they can be taken to another part of your body and still thrive. And, you know, that, that should be reassuring in regards to just the nature. How gentle the procedure is. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. That is just a I feel like there's just like so many like positives too about our fat transfers um, compared to other procedures, right? So one, you're awake. So like I've had patients say like, oh, like I was able to like sit up and look in the mirror and say like, does this look good? Do I want more? Do I, you know? And yeah. so I think that's cool. And then like, if you go and get like um, a breast augmentation, a boob job, whatever you want to call it, um, like by a plastic surgeon, you can't lift for like weeks, yes. right? Like it's a long, long recovery. So I think that is cool that the recovery is so fast. And then it's just, it's your own fat. You don't have any risk of like implant rejection. sickness and yeah. rejection. Yeah. Yeah. And I think a lot of people are realizing now, even after years of having implants that that it can be dangerous. So. Oh, for sure. I had a patient at a consult last week. Um, she got her implants taken out in January after 10 years. They were making her sick and she just didn't notice that that's what it was. So she's mm -hmm. coming in for a fat transfer, which she's very, very excited about. But that's just an example of like, yeah, implants can do great, but they can also not. And it just causes more harm than good. So like you said, with this, your body's not going to reject your own fat. So yeah, so and it, you know, it, it, it look, your body be, is proportionate with those fat cells too. So yes. lose and gain, they, what would, what normally would be your stubborn areas, let's just say your inner thighs were a stubborn area and you transfer that to the breasts. Now that becomes your stubborn, stubborn area. And most women really don't care that their breasts might be a little more stubborn. Yeah, no, definitely not. I always say that with the fat transfer to the butt too. Like, well, your butt might be get bigger, but it, I'm sure it's not a problem. <laughs> that is so true. That's true. You guys, you guys get a lot of the transfers to the to the butt area in Oklahoma, right? If yeah, I feel like it's our most common, more than the fat transfer to the breast. Yeah, I noticed that when I was down there, that that seemed to be the more popular um, place to transfer it to, which is yeah, awesome. The baby That's so <laughs> all, 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 all day long, right? That's awesome. Um, so. That said, maybe do you have a patient you could tell us about that maybe is one of your more more favorite stories? Of oh success? my gosh! I think my favorite is um, a review that a patient left. I'll read it out loud to you guys. Oh, I <laughs> love that. Let's hear it. Let me pull it up. She emailed it to me. I know. I love getting the reviews because oh it's my just gosh. Like I don't know. It's just so reassuring. Yes, it really reiterates for changing lives. And I think that just feels so good to be able to do that. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So here it is. It says, I absolutely love Bell Medical Tulsa. 
From the first visit, the members of Bell Medical team made me feel like family. The energy is always so positive each and every time. <laughs> each and every time I visit for follow-up visits. I had the HD body sculpting done on my outer thighs, tummy, and my love handles. And this week is a 30-day mark since I've had the procedure. I've lost a total of 22.75 inches in 30 days. Oh my God. Wow. Wait, tell me, what, tell me again, what, what did she have done? She had her upper and lower abdomen, her outer thighs, and her love handles and her upper back. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That's yes. amazing. Incredibly days. Because she'll she could go out and do she's much more. Continue. Time. Yeah, she's gonna continue to get smaller. That's she said, good. um, I'm so pleased and thrilled about my results. The team walked me through each step of the process, answered all my questions that that I had and made me feel confident in the decision I was making. The doctor has such soothing bedside manner. It is very knowledgeable. And that made my decision to choose Bell Medical Tulsa even easier. They work with you to make sure that you have the treatment plan that is best for you. And the cost is very reasonable, especially since they always have specials each month. I love the front desk staff, the assistants, the massage therapist, the finance girl, and most of and most of all, the doctor. So much that I ended up referring my sister to Bell Medical, and she's completely in love with her results. If you've ever wanted to boost your self-confidence or get rid of stubborn areas and get back to living your best life, I promise you, you owe it to yourself to make the call to Bell Medical. Ask to speak to Jacqueline, schedule a free consultation. Aww. Look forward to starting the best journey that you owe yourself. You won't be disappointed. Thank you, Bell Medical, for all you do and for taking care of both my sister and myself. Oh, oh my gosh. I know. That summarizes everything that we could ever hope for. Literally. And to hear it from a patient is mm-hmm. so like reassuring. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's unsolicited. She just took the time to write that review. Yes. It's amazing. Yes. And it's so cool that she like her sister went after her sister you know? came in. Yes. Because I feel like that just really tells like if you really had a good experience, then yeah, you're gonna share about it and you're gonna want other people to have that experience too. Especially so. a family member. Like mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's crazy. She said, you know, she's living her best life for that 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 end part. And it's interesting how our bodies when we do something to improve them, make life better. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. She talked about her confidence and everything. And that's like the part of the job that's so rewarding. Like patients saying, I should have done this sooner. I should have looked at you guys two years ago. (laughs) So because on the surface level, it's like, yes, it's just, it's changing your body. And a lot of people have reservations about that. Um, You know, like I shouldn't have to change or why is skinny better? It's not. It's not better. It's how you feel in your own skin. Um, And I think a lot of times we need help with that. Um, We can't do it on our own. And so I think just, I don't know, allowing yourself to to come and to to make that change. Um, And then, yeah, confidence changes everything. Like we've seen it time and time and again, it, it changes people. And so if, if there's something you can do to, to be happier, to make your life better, like do it, do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Especially if it's so reachable. (laughs) I think, have you run into this Jackie, where people say, well, I should, if I just ate a little bit better, if I worked out a little bit more, then I could do it myself. I wouldn't have to spend money. Um, you hear that quite a lot, right? Oh, all of the time. And like, the truth is, those stubborn fat cells, they don't care what you diet. They don't care what you work out. They don't care what you limit yourself to eating. They don't go anywhere. And that's, you know, patients will say that. And then a couple of months, like, well, I've been going to the gym every day. I've been eating this and I'm losing it from other places, but not to where I want to lose it from. Right. Exactly why I'm like, this is perfect because it targets that stubborn area. And then you also have the option to transfer it anywhere else. (laughs) In in some cases, I've heard a lot of men in particular and women that'll say, I did all the work. And when you remove the stubborn fat, I could see muscles. I yes. could see the work. Um, but those stubborn, those stubborn fat cells are just hiding mm-hmm. all the efforts, all my efforts. Yes, absolutely. We, we've seen it too as well. And then another cool thing that Dr. Blatchford does, as long as you're a candidate for it, is ab etching. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that because that is unique to him. So tell us about that. Absolutely. So he has to, of course, see you for a consultation, make sure that you're a good candidate for it. But for the ab etching, he does liposuction. He's very precise with it, though, to where essentially he is literally just leaving the line 
of the abdominal muscles protruding. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. Do you see that primarily with men? Or are you seeing that with women as well that he, he does that too? He does it normally with men, um, especially if it's like men that are in the gym all of the time, lifting heavy all of the time. They're great candidates for it. He's done it on a handful of women, but a lot of the times our women are just like, just transfer the fat. I don't care about anything else. Yeah. It's our yeah. stomach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly. That's enough. Yeah, that's so true. So, so true. I love that you spoke to the fact that those stubborn fat cells will not do anything because I think the, the, the best thing I ever saw was giving permi- people permission to understand there's nothing you're doing wrong and there's nothing you could go do right to get rid of those areas. They just simply are going against you. Yeah, no, absolutely. And just, it's all about reassuring the patient. Like, I believe you that you're doing everything that you can in your power. And it's not you, just like you said, it's not you. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this week I had to go to the dentist. My tooth has been hurting. So we went to the dentist. This is the first time at this dentist and he, they did the x-rays, right? I have terrible teeth. Like they're so, I just like fillings everywhere. I've had multiple root canals, multiple crowns. And that's just like, I got that from my dad. Like he has bad teeth. Like that's just genetics. What? Yeah. Just genetics. Yeah. Yeah. And so nothing I do like, cause I brush, I floss, whatever, you know? And it was kind of funny because like when the, when the dentist was looking at the x-rays, he was like, yeah, maybe, um, just make sure you're brushing and flossing. And then when he went through and actually looked at my teeth, he was like, oh, wow, your dental hygiene is really good. And he, and then he was like, so this is just like genetics basically. And so it's like, I feel like it's like that. Like, I, I don't have to feel bad about like, yeah, it sucks to get a cavity, but it's like, okay, well, brushing more is not gonna, you know, like if I'm brushing and flossing, if you're doing what you, what you're, you know, like you're eating well, you're, you're walking outside, you're have an active lifestyle and, and that fat still isn't going away. Like, not your fault, <laughs> you yeah. know. Like <laughs> that's such a good genetic. example. That's such a good example here because you could walk around feeling like, "Wow, oh, I eat too much sugar," or "I like yeah. don't wash enough." And just how much time do we waste kind of shaming ourselves because it's our fault we don't love our body? When in reality, to your point, there's genetic areas and age and a number of factors that just mm-hmm. yeah. happen. And sure. even going to a gym and hiring a trainer, they can't spot reduce those areas. You know, they can't, you can't say, I just want you to work on getting rid of my inner thighs. Yeah. It, it, it just won't work. Yeah. yeah. And we do, we love when people pair like Belle with healthy lifestyle, with healthy choices. Um, but yeah, it's just, sometimes you just can't do it all on your own and that's okay. <laughs> and that's okay. We all need help in some areas. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, wouldn't you agree that when patients do partner with us though, and now those seven areas are gone. Now, adding in healthy habits, they start to see a difference. It's like the difference is so much bigger than before. Yes. And it's like after having this procedure and seeing how much has changed in your body, it's so motivating to keep going to the gym, keep eating healthy. And it's just amazing. (laughs) That's fun. Well, I can see why you have so much success, Jackie. You would be such a fun (laughs) treatment coordinator to talk to. (laughs) <laughs> it just oozes out of you and and you can totally see that it works like you are you're excited to be there you're excited oh, to absolutely. share the message of well medical yes absolutely just because it's so easy to talk to somebody about it and tell them everything when you know that it works you know it's going to do amazing you know the doctor is going to go above and beyond yeah i bet so that's, that's awesome I love that. Well, do you have anything else that you want to share? Um, Anything that you would want potential patients to know about either coming in for a consultation or questions that they have? Um, Not off the top of my head, but if anybody is thinking about doing it, do it. (laughs) Do it. Pick up the phone right now and do it. Don't be intimidated by the doctor, by anything. Well, and it's so right? You just, you would be happy just to have a conversation with anyone, oh, right? Yes. A consultation does not mean that you have to, you know, like schedule a procedure that you have to pay anything. No, it's a free Absolutely. consultation. That's what I always tell patients when they're like, okay, how much will I owe at the consult? 
nothing. Or if they say, well, I'm not ready until a year, like I'll be ready next summer. That's totally fine. Now you know what to expect. Um, If this is a good route for you, you have all of the information for whenever you are ready. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I think one last story. I remember a patient in Idaho Falls saying that they sat outside. They were so scared to come in. They were actually tearful in their car and they they finally got the, you know, the courage just to come in and have a conversation and didn't realize how easy it would be just to have a conversation. We're not, we're not asking for anything more than just wanting to educate you on you. Yeah. With the match for you. And this patient was like, I'm so glad it was so comforting and non-pressure. And, and that's really what we, 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 we make it as that. Absolutely. And I have so many patients that whenever we're all done, they're like, wow, this was it. I'm so glad I came. It was so easy. <laughs> so it's always nice well, to hear that as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's well worth your time. Oh, you absolutely. Can, you won't regret it. I, I, I believe that. Absolutely. And it's free. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> well, thank you, Jackie. And uh, um, thanks for just talking to us and talking to our audience. <laughs> we, love, um, we love the medical Tulsa. We're so proud of your clinic. It's so fun. Yeah. It's a little bit better and your doctor at, through you. And um, we just, it was just fun to see the success there. Oh, absolutely. It's been amazing. <laughs> awesome. Well, if anybody in Tulsa um, is wondering about a bell procedure, go see Jacqueline um, and she'll answer your questions. Um, and Stay tuned next week for another episode um, of Inches and Insights with Bell Medical.